Hi, in this video we're going to migrate um, four databases from a MySQL um, server to uh, PostgreSQL. Um, so what we've got is um, a product on GitHub called PG Loader, um, so we'll be using that. Um, I've downloaded that um, product and compiled the source code um, due to some errors um, that I was encountering um, migrating the, the MySQL databases over, but uh, you know I'm not going to go through that in this, this video because that's um, kind of out of scope really, it depends on the system and uh, all the rest of it. So yeah, uh, so we'll just move straight on to the demo. So to start with we'll go to um, a product called Navicat and what this allows us to do is to connect to the two uh, database servers. Um, so we've got a MySQL uh, database server here and we've got a Postgres um, server here. So as you can see, the Postgres one's got no tables or databases in it apart from the, the default. Um, in the MySQL um, server, we've got um, a couple of different databases. Um, these have just got some sample data in um, that we can use. So what we'll do is we'll um, uh, we'll go to a terminal um, which. Um, we can run some commands to migrate the data from the MySQL database and create some new databases on the Postgres database. So what we've got um, is we've got something called uh, PG Loader. Um, so um, I just downloaded this from uh, the the GitHub site um, and just ran the make command on that, uh, and that's just got a, a number of different. Um, files in there, Lisp files and stuff like that that it's, it's made up and then I just copied it into the um, uh, user uh, local bin folder. Um, so what I'll do is, um, I don't need to be in there now, but so what I'll do is I'll uh, create the first database. Um, so we'll, we'll run a command uh, to create the database and then to uh, run the PG loader um, to to actually take the data from the MySQL database, um, just running under the root localhost user uh, over into the Postgres um, database. Um, so if I just run that, that will create the database, and you can see it's just migrating that. Uh, so and then if I go to um, go back to that command, and then I can just change this for each one of the each one of the databases, so it should be quite quick to, you know, if we, if we were running this for, um, you know, quite a number of different databases or, you know, for a large migration, we could create a script to, to do all of this. So, um, as you can see, that's now migrated that over. Uh, so just do the other two databases. Um, so I did have to make some um, some changes to the, the MySQL config to allow PG Loader to use the native um, password uh, through the command line, um, but um, you know that's just something that you'd have to do depending on the um, depending on the setup that you've got. So that's migrated all, all four of those um, databases over. So if we just go back onto the Postgres server and we just refresh that, we can see we've now got the, the four databases in there. And you can see we've got uh, all the tables in there. Um, we've obviously got a, a, a schema that's something other than um, public, but you know we can always alter the schema and move that over if we need to. Um, so if I just go into one of these tables and we just have a, a quick look at this table where you can see that some data in there and that matches um, you know what we've uh, what we've got in the MySQL version. Uh, so yeah so that's that's it really. Um, just a quick and simple um, video just to kind of show the migration from MySQL to uh, Postgres.